Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about Seed Job in Jenkins and what actually it is, how it works and how can we create one of our own. So without getting any delay, let's get started. So here's a blog post I have already written on the same. Again, that URL for the same will be in the description. What is a Seed Job? I mean, we have so far learned how can we create pipeline jobs? How can we create freestyle jobs? How can we uh, do our automation using Jenkins pipeline? with different stage and everything but the question which comes is that okay let's say i have automated everything but still i have to create these jobs manually i mean that's also a tedious task in my current organization i am handling more than 80 or 90 jenkins jobs and creating those jobs manually is definitely a tedious task and i also don't want to do that so to overcome this issue we use a specific or you can say a special type of job which we are naming as seed job so a seed job basically is a combination of a groovy script and some jenkins modules which are pre-written in this job dsl plugin now as the name suggests like seed is like a tiny little uh, object that you put it in ground and it can grow an entire tree so it's like same that seed job can actually create as many jenkins jobs we want so we just plant this seed job inside the jenkins and this will create an entire set of jobs for us so so that's about what exactly is seed job and why should we use it now what are the requirements to use seed job so of course we need to have the plugin name job dsl so this is the plugin name which we need to have in the jenkins cluster or in the jenkins server if we want to use the seed job so without getting any delay let's directly jump into the action right here i have my jenkins server up and running so if you do not have any knowledge about installing plugins you can check out my video hovering here in the i button but in my case i have already installed the same so go to manage jenkins plugins available plugins and here you have to search job dsl in my case i have it already installed so it will be inside the installed plugin section and you can see it's right here installed so let's go back to the jenkins server and let's create a new job then we can name it anything let's say test seed job now initially the seed job should be a freestyle kind of project itself hit ok and now if you check the build steps here you will see that that if we are having a new option named as process job dsls so this is a new method that is only visible once we have the job dsl plugin installed and in this plugin you can see that there are two ways of providing it the dsl script now again seed job is also kind of a script so either we can look for this script in the file system what it means that Let's say you have copy your seed job in the same machine where you have your Jenkins server installed. So you can provide a path to the script or you can use this tiny button here to directly write the script in this box or in our case we will be copy pasting the same script. So let me try the first script which we have written in the blog post which is this one. So let's go through the syntax of this one. So let me, I have copy pasted the job now see what's the syntax for the same initially we have to write job now writing job or writing freestyle job is the same thing it is going to create a freestyle project in our jenkins server next we have to define a name like what will be the job name we are giving then we have to open of course the block for the same the next thing which we have to define is the steps that what are the steps i want to use in my job in my case i'm using just a basic step which is executing shell script if you are using windows then you can use batch script or if you want to use any other steps let's say sending email or anything those all are available here so let me save it and let me build this job now here's an thing uh, with the seed job that initially you have to approve this script before you want to run in my case i have like already approved it so it's working but i will show you how can do that so if i click on this one and check the console of this job you will see that it has added an item building in this workspace and you can see in the output it's saying that added items and generated a job so it means it has generated this job whose name is test freestyle seed job so let me copy the job name and now if we check the dashboard we can see we have this job created right here and if i click on this job and check the configuration for the same you see here i have the shell 
step added here and eco hello world exist here so this is how seed job can create multiple freestyle jobs and uh, this is a very basic example of creating freestyle job using seed job now let's move towards the next example now let's try creating a pipeline job using the seed job so here the syntax for the same i have written in the blog post so let me copy it from here and let me create a new item of course freestyle job let's add uh, the process dsl method because we are providing it a dsl script use the provided script and paste the code here so here what we are doing is that instead of job or freestyle job we are saying that create a pipeline job and this is the name of the job if you check the dashboard there is no such job exists so far pipeline job has this definition where we have to define that from where your pipeline script will be coming either you are putting the script directly or you are using some source code management repository so i will be demonstrating you both the ways but i will recommend you to use this one that we are using the source code repository method so you see in the definition i am defining the cps scm method and then i'm asking to use the scm then of course git is the tool we are using and remote is basically where we have to define the repository url now in remote we have two methods either we use directly the github module of jenkins here i just have to define the repository path without https github.com or like without the dot git but if you want to use some other source code management repository you can use url instead of github and pass it the entire repository directory now we have to define the script path it means the jenkins file path inside these repository so i have already provided that if you don't know exactly how to write the definition for a pipeline job you can check out my video on how to create jenkins pipeline again hovering somewhere here or here in the i button now let me save these changes let me build it now it's failing because of the script approvals let me approve that go to jenkins manage jenkins go on script approvals and here's the script which we want to run so we have to definitely get an approval from jenkins approve it and now let me rerun the job build now now if i refresh the page you see i have the second execution completed and if i check the console it will saying that generated and this is the job name it has created now let us check our dashboard is the job exist now oh i have to refresh it yep there is a job name test pipeline seed job it means it's created from pipeline now it's not required to put seed job in the name i am just using it for test purpose and if we check the configuration you see it has already added the github project here and it is using the pipeline script from scm and git is of course the scm tool which we are using and here's the repository url here you can see the jenkins file path which we ask it to put here and this is how we can create pipeline jobs from a seed job now in these examples i am just creating a single single seed job just so that you guys can understand easily seed jobs can create more than hundred and thousands of job in a single execution here here is an another example of uh creating jobs inside folders i mean you can have folders in jenkins and then you can have jobs created inside them as well so here is a simple seed job i have written so in this seed job i am trying to create a job which is a freestyle job inside test folder and then this is the job it will create inside this folder then similarly inside test folder it will create a pipeline job now you can define as many uh, jobs inside a single groovy script or you can say in a single seed job now you are pretty much familiar with these syntaxes for creating a single single job it's right there and uh, let me create another job for the same let's say test folder job again freestyle adding a step process job dsl use the one i am providing and save it build it here you see that if i check the console of this one it's asking or it's displaying that okay it has generated this job then it has generated this second job here so now if we go to the dashboard you see we have a folder created named as test folder and inside this folder we have these two jobs the one is freestyle and the second one is pipeline job if you check their configuration you can see all the uh, options which we have provided the repository url the branch name and the jenkins file path so now you might say that okay why do we have to approve these scripts each and every single time so it's just a one-time thing you do not have to worry about these things in future videos when we will be covering the topic jenkins configuration as code these things will also be done automatically uh, let me go back to the dashboard now here is the last example i have of course i am asking that it's not recommended that if you want to define the entire pipeline job script inside uh, the script block so instead of using the 
एस सी एम इन पाइप लाइन जॉब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिफाइन योर कस्टम पाइप लाइन जॉब देयर यू कैन यूज दैट एज वेल सो लेट्स ट्राई दिस वन एज वेल कोड सील जॉब आई मीन यू कैन नेम इट एनी थिंग इट डजेंट मैटर प्रोसेस जॉब डी एस एल यूज द प्रोवाइडेड वन सेव द चेंजेस बिल्ड इट अप्रूव द स्क्रिप्ट रीबिल्ड इट now here you see in the console that okay the test pipeline job with script is created now if i check this job configuration you can see instead of using the scm it's using the provided pipeline script so it's right here we have provided that use this pipeline script instead of using the scm so again i will not recommend you to use it but if you are doing some testing thing then definitely this thing comes in the handy so yep <laughs> that is how you can use the seed job and these are a few examples i have explained to you i mean these are pretty advanced topic but anything for the viewers so if you like the video and in any way this has helped you in completing your task feel free to share it with your friends at least hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching